In this video I'll be demonstrating how to use the ThinkPad APS system which is basically a built in accelerometer on ThinkPad laptops to control a game. The game I'll be using is Tux Racer. So what we need to do is we need to download a couple of files, set it up and then you can use, uh, you can control the game by tilting the laptop side to side and forward and back. This is a feature in ThinkPad laptops, some other laptops have it but I don't think the files will work. In this video I'm using the ThinkPad L512. So what you need to do is you need to go to the file on my website which will sort of tell you about compatible laptops. So that's at camerangray.me forward slash ThinkPad APS. So you have a few things here. First of all is a list of compatible laptops. In this case I've got the L512 so it's compatible. If your laptop's here it should work. And you've got these two files to download. First download this one which will download di directly from my site and just save it. And next download the game. So you press that link to go to the game, which is this one here. And then go down inside to downloads. Go up here to Windows. And then you'll see a link here. Just click the first one for Source Forge. And it's going to ask you to download it. I'm just going to come up to download just now. Okay, hit save that just somewhere on your computer. I'm saving both them to the desktop, you can save them wherever you want. that downloaded. Okay, what we now need to do is take these two files, the game and the patch file thing, and use them. So we're going to open up the zip file with the game first, and in here there should be a folder. Drag this folder out that zip file just somewhere, so we wait for that to extract. Okay, so that's extracted now. You can just close this and delete your zip file. So we've got the game here and our little patch file here. In the patch folder you'll find there's a few different files. Let's get this here for you. This is the patch folder here. There's our, some readme files and security and sort of license files. The SDL DLL and the SDL events C patch file, that's them these two are the important ones. So what you need to do is drag these into the folder for the rest of your that contains stuff for your game. So we drag this over and let go. So it's going to ask me whether I want to copy and replace, don't copy, whatever. Copy and replace, you want to replace the existing files. And there you are. Now what you need to do is load the game up. Hit run or whatever. The game will now come up and load. So you can go through the game. Pick a map. One. Hit race, and then you can now control the game with it um, just by tipping the laptop side to side. So I've got the laptop in my hands here, and I'm basically tipping the laptop side to side and controlling it. So here's a video of me actually controlling it, you know, in real life. So, so I have it all set up and working, so we can demonstrate it working. So it, you can't really see it as effectively on camera, but it does. It, it is working very well. So here are the game starting up, and you see it's there. If I tilt the laptop left. I turn left, if I turn to the laptop light, I turn to the right. Works quite well actually, very effective. If I tip forward or back, as you'll see, tip the laptop forward, it will sort of accelerate and you can go like that. It's not that good obviously as I have it at the moment, no, no sort of bit side on to it and not really able to play the game properly, but when it's sitting on your lap it is very, very intuitive. Just be careful, don't start blaming if you drop your laptop or something, doing something stupid with it. Be safe, don't wave about in the air. But it's a pretty cool little trick. And especially if I see something like this in a business laptop. I think it was mainly designed for anti for anti sort of theft mechanisms, but controls the game. So it's good. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And you can also visit my website at camerangray.me. Thanks for watching.